Um, so here my session, right? Talk about my two passions. My one passion is Aja, as you can see here, right? But the other passion I have is Aikido. How many of you knows about Aikido? Can you raise your hand? Oh, okay. So we have some practitioner here. That's good. So what's about, right? What's about Aja and Aikido? And uh, I, my apology, right? So, so the color turns a little bit green here. I guess that's the Bangalore color, right? So I hope you can see that. Let's keep it simple, right? So what do we will do here? So this is a short introduction of me, right? So uh, has been in the industry for a while, and uh, I'm always a life learner. Right? I learn everything I see, right? So I start my agile and uh, um, Aikido journey almost at the same time, and the more I practice. I practice Azure, the more I practice Aikido, the more similarity I see. And I'm going to tell why uh, I think the way, and we are going to see how things go. And maybe if you have enough time, maybe you can practice a little bit here. I hope you like it. So we will talk about Aikido. And uh, how many of you have not heard about the uh, Shuhari? Okay, so Suhari is basically the concept from Aikido. It's basically from your learn, from your practice, and from your break kata. So I'm going here. So what's Aikido, right? So Aikido is coming from Japan, and it's a martial arts farm, and you can see the founder picture here, right? So it's coming from O Sensen, Morihei Yoshiba. And Aikido, there's three characters. So the first character we have is I. Right? Eyes joining, combining, and fitting. Key is your spirit. This is always the theory behind, right? So it's not body, it's the key keep your thing flows, right? And door is the way. So it's the way of harmonize. Harmonize the world, harmonize your environment, harmonize yourself. And it was the principle based on the founder, right? So the way of the warrior has been always misunderstood. It's not meant to kill or destroy. This is to seek to complete better yourself to make a terrible mistake here, right? So to smash, to destroy, that's the worst thing you can do. So that's what Aikido is about. Aikido is not about to destroy op opponents. Aikido is about to harmonize yourself, find a better way with the, your environment and yourself. So this is about Suhari, right? So I think the Asia community will talk about a lot of Suhari, right? So, but I do think there's a better understanding can be done about Suhari. And the Suhari is about that embrace the kata, kata is the technique, right? And uh, device from the kata and uh, discard the kata. And what I put here, the first part is learning, right? So you learn the techniques, you practice the technique, and it become master. That's the mastery portion. And it was learning part. And in Aikido, the learning starts always with basics. For example, what's your first thing you learn? Can you tell me what, what first thing do you learn? Yeah. Sorry, four. four. Even before four. The first thing you learn in Aikido is how you sit. I'm going to show you. Because there's different ways you need to sit. And uh, how you sit here, you first bend your knee, one left down, and the other one. And in between your knees, there should be two fists. Okay? And the other way you sit here, you put the right hand of your feet, always opposite here. And uh, the, only, the first thing you do when you get a dojo, you ball to each other. And when you ball, you put the left hand in front, right hand close down. So that's the first thing you learn. It's not about martial arts. It's not about how you perform techniques. It's how about you sit down, calm down yourself, get your spirit ready before the exercise. And the same thing, how you stand, right? How do you stand in one line? How you balance yourself? How do you make sure you're mobile, but still keep a balances? So the technique is not about it, how do I destroy this person? 
The technique is about how do I balance myself so nobody can destroy me. So this is one of the techniques. Um, in Aikido, we call EQ. That's the first lock. And what the first lock does, they have a strict rules behind how do you move and how do you move the body. So in the way, you will start here. Right? So someone attack you, you push your arm forward, you close the body, you do bend. And at the point I want to put here, in the suhari mode, in the su mode, learning mode, there are strict rules behind. This part, part is for you to learn rules, follow the rules, less questions, but think about what the teacher tells and follow that. This is important because when you do the EQ here, the distance will be important. You need to push ahead to push the arms. If you go too far, you cannot do that. So that's the one you need to learn and get on with that. After you learn, right, then what's the next step? What do we see so far is that only the training, right? So what do we saw so far is not a theory. In Aikido, can someone guess what's the percentage, the theory class versus practice class? Is that 50-50? No one thinks? 20, 20, 20 80? 1090? A uh, good guess. I would say it's about 1%, 99%. So in a way, there's no theory license. It's not you come, I tell a theory about Aikido, right? So Aikido practice is always start from a demonstration. So the teacher will demo with a senior to your skills. After you learn, then you will practice. It's all about practice. Uh, why, why do we do that? If you have seen, uh, you have not seen the, the video, the backward brain bicycle, that's by um, Smart Everyday. This is a very fantastic video, talk about behavior, talk about knowledge. Knowledge is not to, uh, equal to skills. When you learn some theories, you cannot apply. That same thing agile, right? So I go three days training, does that make I'm squad master? No. You have knowledge, but you need to apply. Because of the apply portion, it's always the context. How your team is, how do they react, they tell me how you apply the techniques. And then let's come to four, right? So the gentleman said four. And when you start practice, the first thing you learn and to grow, how to fall. And then you fall together. So that's a preparation activity. One preparation activity is you fall. And then you learn how to fall. Because last large part, create a ritual before you practice. But when you fall, you fall in safe environments. That's what a dojo creates. Well, if you look at here, this is not hierarchical environments, right? So you self-organize, you bow to each other, and each one take care of each other. So when I practice with a pair, I always make sure my partners will not hurt. My first responsibility when practice is give space to my partners. So he can practice, he can learn, while I can still grow my skills. And if you look at the best way of learning, and what's, I think that's different from uh, um, Aikido from a lot of martial arts, right? So if you look at Taekwondo, you look at uh, Karate, it's a lot about training yourself. But Aikido started from the beginning, start from white belts, you can always, you always learn from pairs. So besides very, I mean, a small part of preparations, you always say, I practice with you, and you learn the techniques. And why do we do that? Because as martial arts, you know the environment different. You know your partner different. Whether it's the short, uh, tall, whether it's old or small, you treat your technique differently. And that's the things you cannot learn by just doing it yourself. You do it together. And then that's the quote from one uh, Aikido master, right? Lindy, uh, Linda Holiday. So uh, in Aikido trainings, we learn from each other. We learn from the most experienced people. We also learn from newcomers, right? Everyone is connect and develop much understanding. And it's important to create a place where it can happen. Same for uh, uh, Agile, right? So 
Can we learn from the new people? Yes. They have a new mindset. They have new behaviors, right? So it's not about experience. It's how do you create a mix of the learning environments. So as a coach, as agile leaders, it's for you to create an environment so can, people can learn from each other. And then that's the grading system, right? So can someone make a guess? How many years, how many months, or how many days you can go through that? How many people say six months? Can you reach Black Belt six months? One year? Two year? Two year, okay. Two year I can already become agile coach, right? So, <laughs> so average takes about four years time. So, so I'm, I'm already in my fifth year, I'm still going through that. Um, but it really takes a long time to practice this. And this is not enough. Which you will see here, and then that's the stage, I practice, I practice, I practice, I become black, Bell, right? So am I really to be a master? Am I really to coach others? No, you don't, right? So can I ask you here, how, in terms of agile experience, how many of you have five years and more experience here? Okay, we got quite a few, right? How many of you have 10 years? Can you keep your hands up? How many of you have 10 years experience here? How many of you have 15 years experience here? 20 years? Okay, we, I think we know about age now. <laughs> and then you look at here, right? Here's the masters from Akira. And you look at here, um, so the OCN Sen have 43 years exp uh, experience practicing. And in, even before he started Akira, he practiced other martial arts as well. And the other one is um, Christian, um, he is a master from France. He, I mean, he's still practicing he, until now here. 57 years of practice here. And uh, Philip Lee, um, Sihan Philip Lee is where the dojo I come from, right? So he, he started practice Aikido 70 years old. And after 48 years, he's still practicing and teaching. So think about that, right? So if you call us as agile leaders, if you call us, we are teachers, how many years have we get? And the fact is, why they are teaching? Because they always well, we find some new thing to learn. And if you come back to the previous slide, we are talking about black belt is only the beginning. It's not the end. That's where you learn the basic techniques. That's where you can perfect your skills here. And from junior down to first down, is every talk about I think, 100 months. You can talk about 9 to 10 years before you move to first down. So normally, the instructor coming from, say, second down to first down. So that's the really the time to develop your skills, learn of your skills before you can teach. I think we can learn from that as well in agile environments. You need to have a tons of experience, deal with different teams before you can share, can teach others. And then let's talk about mindset. There's a Chinese character here. So let's make a guess. Is the mindset really about mind? Is that so? Is that really here? Or is this here? So in Chinese, the mindset translates an attitude of the heart. So it's not really what you think here. It's compared to your heart. How do you feel? So you think of agile principles, right? Does it mean we really go to mind, or does it really go to heart? And when people act, behave in an agile way, is it because their mind thinks so, or is that because their body adjusts to that? Agile becomes their way of working. So I think that's the things we need to really see. How do we touch their heart, not just the mind? How do we make it a habit they can act without thinking? And then you when you look at that, right? So uh, that's a core, right? So educate the mind without educate heart. Educate heart is no education at all, because we want people feel that, live that. I think that's what we want to achieve as agile leaders. And then talk about mindset, right? What the mindset want to get, right? So that's what we see also from Akito as well. One is courage. 
You have courage to try, courage to learn, you have courage to fail before any techniques. So that's the first thing to come. You focus. You always have focus your errors. What's your goal? What's our team goals? How do we achieve that? Okay. You have a commitment to the setbacks. You don't stop because some failure, some fallbacks. You respect all. Respect your teacher, respect your student, respect your opponents. Treat other people at equal space. I think that's the basic value we can adapt in the agile environment. And then you have openness, right? Because Akita has no forms. When you go further and further down the road, when you press agile, whether it's a scrum, whether it's Kanban, whether it's other forms, ultimately it's what a goal you want to achieve. So you can apply whatever can be applied with a good intentions. So that's openness with objective in mind. With that, I would like to open the dojo. If you are brave enough, we were going to practice a little bit of Aikido technique here. Can, can you group yourself, self-organize to a group, say, 6 to 10? So even numbers, either 6 people, 8 people, or 10 people. You can either group here or group at the back. You need some space here. Okay. And can I invite you for some demonstration? <laughs> We will do two techniques. Nothing harms you, okay? Do we have a group? Yeah, I will do it. Okay. Do we have a group? Okay. Then, yeah. Okay. So I need a volunteer. Basic techniques, and I already know an Aikido master. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's been okay. Years, but. Okay. Okay. So so we're gonna do an easy one first, right? We call I, I call escape. So basically, someone grab my hand. How do I escape, right? So you wanna grab my hand, and he grabbed my hand very hard, very very hard, not high enough. So as a good opponent, he grabbed my hand, and as instinct, right, human instinct, what I do, I run away. He grabbed harder, harder, right? But that's where you see the flow is, right? So he is grabbing towards that, right? And where's the gap here? The gap's here, okay? So instead, I pull away, he pull in, we just struck here, I run here, okay? So that's the basic techniques. You want to try? I I will grab your hand. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, no. Um. <laughs> okay. So you will be extend your arms here. Yeah. So I will lose balance. Then it is easier for you to go up. Okay. Okay. So that's how we practice. I do one wrong. She will do. He will do one wrong. Right. So so can can I try again? So what I do here. So if you grab me, right. So I first extend. Then go out. Because when I extend, if he is struggling, he is losing his balance. Right? So then it's good for me to go out. I don't use power. Okay? Can you group as a pair and practice? Okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. How do you do? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, so you want to grab? Okay. So in a sense, if, 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 can I show you? If you grab me? So he grab me, right? He grab me. If I come, she will be harder, right? So what I do, oh. you notice that, right? Okay. There's a gap here, which is here. Okay. Yeah? Okay, please. So yeah, so your hand will be, yeah. And, and you don't want to lean back, because you lean back, you lose balance, okay. right? So you always keep here, here. And it's like you're touching something on the ground. You see? Ah, right? Okay. You're touching something on the ground. The 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 message is the power, right? 
So if I, if I have a resistance from the team, do I struggle with them, or do I break out? It's do a I? It's it's a new way, right? Because that's how we deal with resistance. Yeah, because right? generally we do this. Yeah, you pull harder, I pull harder, then create more tensions, right? So that's the way the harmony is about. Can you practice real-time examples? Because like if there is a team resistance, for example, yeah, 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 yeah. But how do you take it to a different direction so that then let's hand over the class? That would be my second talk. <laughs> Keep on practicing. Okay? Okay, I just checked the other group here. Are you guys okay? Okay, so you ready for the second techniques? Okay, sure. So who will be the bad guy? Okay. Okay, can you can you do that again? Okay. So. No, you 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 are you are, okay. So in the ways Akidos, you don't bend your arms. What do you do here? You are facing down, like reaching reach out to something. Reach out to them. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. I cannot go. Ahead. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Can you keep on practicing while I oh, next go next. Okay. Next one, I need to do a small group. Uh, can we do it together, maybe? So, yeah. can yeah. someone demonstrate with me? Someone have a uh, good insurance? Oh, good insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I have one corporate and personal. So it's okay. Fine, okay. So. <laughs> So, so we we will have. Well, I will show two techniques here. So either you can do um, sitting positions, okay. that's a uh, uh, kyokuku, and the other one is probably normal, uh, simple one, right? So, so let's do a simple one first. So, can you grab my hand here, please? Okay. So you grab it here. That's how we do escape, right? Correct. So but I can also do. Okay. So okay. I can do. <laughs> so he's learning here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So I do here. So if he is pushing me, yeah. right? <laughs> so I see the direction, right? So right here, I put here, I go down, and he's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So let me do that, right? I okay. didn't learn. Uh, didn't learn. You didn't learn. You didn't learn. It's always fun. Yeah. So, so in the way you turn, right? In the way you turn. Okay. That that's another one. Uh, can we sit down? Yeah. Yeah. So when when you sit down, you you sit this way, right? Sit this way. Okay. So now what I require here. You grab. You, can you see that? You probably need to closer to see, and uh, and you want to be here a little bit. Okay. So this technique is talk about uh, inner circle, right? So in a way. When we practice this, it's not about opponents. It's about how can I keep a inner circle here. So Akido is, I have a focus here. This is my focus, okay? So this is my space. So what I'm gonna practice is he will grab my both hands, okay? Then I'll try to escape, maybe getting down, okay? So let's see whether I can success with this, okay? So you're ready, huh? Mm -hmm. So here, so what you do here, what you do here? So he's already lose balance. Yeah, yeah that's true. No. <laughs> <laughs> you need to you need to hold my hand. You need to hold my hand. Okay. Oh, you, you need to hold my hand. Else I cannot do that. You cannot because your hand is already here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a good yeah. opponent. Uh, in the way he's resisting me. But the other way, he need to follow me. Because he is my, how do we say that? He is not cooperate with me. So in the way, when I do Akido, right, because we are working together, we are partners. We even say, you are opponents, right? So of course, you reason me to, I can learn the techniques here. But you also try to do is follow my flows. So that's how the repair works, right? So I give a chance to learn. And as a, we call it okay, a receiver side, also recognize where I deal with junior, where I deal with senior. If it's juniors, I will get a bit easier. And I will follow the flows, right? So, so that, that's the way it's not we are fighting. It's not in the way I want to fight with you, but in the way it's, let's create opportunity to learn together. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Good. Thank you.
You can try. So <laughs> there's two techniques. <laughs> Yeah, I try. Why don't you try? That's, um, so you can try the Kyokuku, the one, yeah. Okay. Um, so if you grab me, right? So I be here. I'll be here. Yeah. So it be it be quite painful. Yeah, if you if you insist, right? Yeah. So when you cut, you cut almost cut his bell. Oh. Yeah, you you, yeah. you 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 hold your finger, you cut your your bell. Yes, yeah. okay. yes, okay. Cool. Yeah. That's the fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. With that, now we talk about agile organization, right? So we touch a little bit here, but in really here, if you look at agile organization, I don't see. There's a lot of difference here, right? Because you need to learn the techniques. You need to bring the practices in. I, what I see a lot of organizations in the zoom mode. They thought they know that, they forget the basic formations, they stop practicing. That's why they cannot move on. And a very important part for you to achieve the result you want to have here is not a technique. Technique is important, but how do you get people buy in? That's where the heart, that's where the mind coming together. So with that, I have a call here. Before I end, kind of finish PowerPoint here. So and Azure is not really a new, uh, easy thing to do, right? So we might receive defeats. But as a warrior, I call us as an Azure warriors, we now should never be defeated. Okay. Any questions? Anyone learn uh, new techniques? Okay. How many people will practice Akito now? <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, thank you.